All right, take a moment, close your eyes, feel yourself sitting here. And what we're going to do is we're going to be like a tree, and we're going to grow roots down, down through the floor, through anything below us, through the basements, into the earth, far below where we're sitting. Grow them down through the earth, around the rocks, around the boulders, and keep on reaching down and down until you find bedrock far below your seat. And search along that bedrock until you find the cool, crisp waters far below. The waters of chaos, the waters of potential. And start bringing these waters up through our roots with each and every breath Bring these waters up further and further. Bring them up into our feet and into our legs. Feel the waters moving through as they come up and come up into your loins and into your belly. Feel the cool waters filling your bodies as it comes up into your chest. And with each and every breath comes up further and further into our head and into our hands. And as we are filled with these waters, each breath we now take brings them up further, pouring it out of our heads and out of our hands, flowing back into the earth, filling us with these cool waters from far below, waters of chaos. Take in the energies of these waters. Fill yourselves with what you need out of these waters. Then... Let's turn our focus upwards as we maintain the waters from below and reach up with our branches, reach up through the roofs, up through the ceilings, up through the clouds, high into the sky until we find that one pole star directly above our heads. We're going to reach up, we're going to pull down the fires from above, the fires of order, the light of order from above. Bring them down with each and every breath. Bring them down into our fingers, into our hands, down into our heads. Mingle it with the waters from below as we bring them down into our chest and into our belly. Feel the lights, the waters mingling as we bring them down into our loins, into our legs, into our feet. As we pull the lights from above and the water from below, See them mixing within your body, filling you with the energies of order and chaos, fire and water, filling you with all the potentials for magic that you could ever need. See yourself flowing with these powers, partake in these energies. Fill yourself up with anything that you need. Bring yourself back to your center, to your normal power base. And when you're ready, Take the waters and push them back down into the ground. Take the fires, push them back up into the skies. Break your connection with both. But know that if you ever need these energies, I need these powers, you can always reach down, you can always reach up, and pull them back into yourself. But for now, take a deep breath in and out, in, and out. When you're ready, open your eyes, prepare to do magic. First, make offerings to the Earth Mother. Mighty Earth Mother, you surround us, you support us. Without you, we would not have food. Without you, we would not have shelter. For all that you do for us, all you provide for us, Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Earth Spirit, accept our offerings. We are here to honor the kindreds. We are here to ask for blessings in return. First, let us hallow our hallows. Mighty well. You run deep into the earth and connect us to the underworlds. To you, we give you silver. We say sacred waters flow within us. 
Sacred waters flow within us. Mighty fires, you burn, consume, and transform. And you extend our offerings high into the sky, to the heavens, to the shining ones. We offer you this incense. We say sacred fires burn within us. Sacred fires burn within us. In mighty tree, your roots go deep into the well. Your branches go high into the sky. We disperse you with the waters, we sense you with the fires. We say sacred tree, grow within us. Sacred tree, grow within us. And my house and all of our houses, by the might of the water, the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. So be it. First, we call to the gatekeepers. We call to all of you who have aided us throughout the years. We call to you once more to watch over us as we walk the holy ways. Guard us and guide us as we do our works of evil. We ask you to take our messages far and wide. And we ask that you bring back all that we need to hear. For this mighty gatekeepers accept our offerings gatekeepers accept our offerings now gatekeepers all join your magic mind let the well open as a gate to the underworld in all of our houses let the fires open as a gate to the upper world in all of our houses uh, the tree is a crossroads between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices in all of our houses. Let the gates be opened. Let the gates be opened. Now we make offerings to shining ones, gods and goddesses of other days, those of you that watch over each and every one of us our patrons and matrons, we offer you welcome. To all of you of this very land that were here before us, we offer you welcome. To all of you that watch over us but are not known to us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Shining ones, accept our offerings. And land spirits, to all of you, fur and feather, scale and skin, our animal kin, we offer you welcome. To all of you of leaf and twig, stem and flower, our plant kin, we offer you welcome. And to all of you unseen spirits, our house spirits and other spirits of nature, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires. Land spirits, accept our offerings. Land spirits, accept our offerings. Last but not least, ancestors, to all of you that are our own family and have come before, we offer you welcome. To all of you that we choose, our friends, our inspiration, our mentors, we offer you welcome. And to all of you of this very land, those who come long before us where we live, we offer you welcome. Come, join us by our fires. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Ancestors, accept our offerings. And now at this point, have offerings of your own to make Please feel free to make them.
to all those that need help. May the help they need find them and find them quickly. There are no other offerings to be made. Mighty kindred, we call to you. We have given to you. We give to you once more. And we ask, mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Now, mighty kindred, we ask, what blessings we shall receive? Shining ones, what blessings do you give us? Shining ones give us pear throw, the dice cup, games of chance. Land spirit, what blessings do we receive? They give us Anzus, communication, deity, and some would say Odin. And ancestors. What blessings do we receive? <sighs> they give us fehu, cattle, and wealth. Well, this is an interesting omen. What I'm getting out of this is take a chance. Listen, listen to the spirits, listen to the powers. Talk to them. And through that, you will be rewarded. I think this is a good omen. Do we accept this omen? We accept this omen. Ancient and mighty ones, we have given to you and you have given to us. You've given these omens. We ask that you fill these omens in my glass and in all of our glasses. Fill our waters with pear throw, the chances we need to take. Fill them with ansus, the communications we need to have and hear. Fill them with fehu, the rewards we shall reap. Fill our waters with these omens. My house and all of our houses. Behold the waters of life. Behold the waters of life. If there's nothing else to be done, let's thank all of those who have aided us. Mighty ancestors, be you family, be you chosen family, or be you of this very earth for all that you have done for us. Ancestors, we thank you. Ancestors, we thank you. Land spirits, be you the animal kin which has been running around my house, be you the plant kin, or be you the unseen kin. To all of you for all that you have done for us, Land spirits, we thank you. Land spirits, we thank you. And to the shining ones, be you our patrons and matrons, be you unknowns to us, or be you of this very earth. For all that you have done for us, shining ones, we thank you. Shining ones, we thank you. <sighs> to the gatekeepers, you have aided us once more. You have opened the ways between the worlds, you have watched over us and you brought back these wonderful messages for all that you've done for us, both tonight and throughout all the years. Gatekeepers, we thank you. Gatekeepers, we thank you. We now ask that you once more join your magic with mine in my house and all of our houses. Let our wells become but water. Let our fires become but flame. Let our trees become but a tree once more. 
and all of our houses. Let the gates be closed. Let the gates be closed. Last but not least, Earth Mother, you surround us and support us. You aid us in so many ways. It is the truth that without you, we would not be here. For all that you do for us, day in and day out, and all you've done for us tonight. Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Spirit, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for this rite has ended. <laughs>